Okay, this video is, do fermented foods increase the risk of cancer? Now, fermented foods for me wasn't much of an issue because I don't eat them routinely, but this is things like, you know, pickles, kimchi, uh, sauerkraut. <clears throat> there are a lot of times, for example, vegetables that are heavily salted and pickled and they can store for a long time. So there can be an advantage if you live in a cold climate to have them available during the winter time. Um, I don't personally eat them, but a little bit, and someone asked me to look into this, so I just looked into it a little bit, and I was kind of surprised how quickly there's a whole bunch of papers on uh, pickled and fermented foods being associated with increased risk of gastric cancer and some other types of cancer. So here's probably one of the, the most uh, relevant papers, Pickled Food and Risk of Gastric Cancer, Systematic Review Meta-Analysis of English and Chinese Literature. So they went through 60 studies, that's a lot. Um, and they found a potential 50% higher risk of gastric cancer and associated with intake of pickled vegetables and foods and perhaps a stronger association, especially in Korea and China. So Korea and China. So here's Korea. Uh, oh, here's the China risk. Here's the Korea risk. It was a little higher than it was in Japan for this uh, meta-analysis. Okay, here's another paper here. Pickled vegetable intake and its proportion relative to total vegetables was positively associated with the risk of breast cancer a significant association with risk of breast cancer. Okay, here's one paper and it says, uh, Japanese and Koreans mainly consume processed vegetables, such as cooked, salted, or pickled vegetables, and a high intake of pickled vegetables was significantly associated with an increased risk of GC for gastric cancer. And then I saw other papers showing uh, uh, fermented foods associated with increased risk of laryngeal cancer. So basically, you know, the main thing I got was the salt risk and there might be other issues associated with the processing. But to me, it's like, unless you have a big benefit from doing something, why take risks? I would probably just avoid these foods based on what I know at this point.